Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab. Welcome to 2015. I'm very excited for the new year. Um, we have lots of great stuff planned. We got some great products. We got lots of tutorials and free stuff coming up. So uh, thank you for supporting our site and let's have a great 2015 together. I want to kick off this year by doing a quick tip on camera projection. I'm going to go ahead and make this one really quick, just showing you how to set up a scene very easily. Um, what we're going to be doing is making a 3D tunnel based on this image right here. So I found this on iStock. It's a very simple um, tunnel, and what I want to do is be able to fly a camera down in 3D space. So I went ahead and added a cube, and I made it uh, quite a bit bigger than the default cube. So if we put in the default cube, this is the size of that guy. So you can see that the cube is pretty big and long, so it kind of mimics the size of that tunnel that I want to project. So what we're going to do is add a new camera. And first of all, I'll go to that cube and just make sure that it's zeroed out so it's exactly in the middle. And then if we go to the camera and we zero that out, uh, the camera should be looking right down the middle of this cube. And we'll go ahead and change the rotation as well. So now we have the camera set up so it's perfectly in the middle of this cube looking down it. And now we just need to add that texture um, showing this tunnel image. And we're going to project that onto the inside of this cube. So I went ahead and made a texture. And in the color channel, I loaded that image and I also put it in the bump channel with a little bit of bump and then we're going to go ahead and drag that onto the cube so the first thing we have to do is change the projection from the default UVW mapping and we're going to change that to camera mapping and then we have this little camera slot and we need to put a camera in there so we're going to make a new camera and that one will also be zeroed out and we're going to name this projection and we're going to go back to that texture tag and in that camera slot we'll drag our projection uh, camera and already everything's lining up pretty well That's because I set up the cube already to sort of match the dimensions of this scene uh, If it's not matching up perfectly, you can do two things you can change your geometry So you can go into your cube and mess around with you know the different size of the walls and all that kind of business and Then you can also go to the projection camera and move that around if it's not lining up perfectly so you can see by moving that we are basically uh, shifting where the projection is landing on the geometry. But because we're just doing a tunnel and it's a really basic shape, it looks like everything is lining up pretty well. So we'll go ahead and do a quick render. It looks like things are pretty dark, so we'll go ahead and throw in a light. We will duplicate it and put one towards the back of the tunnel just so we can kind of see what's going on here with the render. And just like that, we have the magic of camera projection throwing that um, photo onto the different geometry and it looks 3D and really awesome. And what I've done a lot is um, just take a picture or green screen of a, a sports player and put him here and it makes it look like he's just kind of hanging out in a photorealistic tunnel, which is really awesome. So that's one quick way that you can use camera projection and make a really complicated scene very quickly in 3D space. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.